Okay guys, so for today's video, I am going to discuss about can I bring my family to Malta or to any other European country if I'm working in EU country, let's say for example Malta. Hi everyone, my name is Trisha and welcome back to my channel and yes, that's me! Okay guys, so for today's video, I am going to discuss about can I bring my family to Malta or to any other European country if I'm working in EU country, let's say for example Malta. Hi guys, so good morning to all of you, how are you everyone? So I was in holiday and I didn't upload for these uh, past weeks but I have already a lot of, of vlogs I have written here. So this all my topics that I want to make a vlog for all of you. So those are the topics that I get from the comment section. And those are the common questions that I want to answer in one of my videos. So I have here 17 videos. And this vlog now I'm making is one of the lists. So can I bring my family to work in Malta if I'm working in Malta or to any other European country? So yes guys, now our channel is Trisha in Europe before is Trisha Malta Vlog. I changed the name because I want to tackle every Europe country, not only Malta, but also in the Netherlands where I am living right now. So watch out guys, a lot of vlogs coming in. So if you're not yet subscribed on my channel and you're watching this vlog, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. And also like, share, and drop your comment below on this video. And I'm going to reply you if I can. And I'm receiving a lot of messages, guys. So I was giving a heart to all of you, meaning to say I read it and I'm taking note of that. Because one of my um, plan was to do a live video one of these coming weeks or if I have time. Now guys, let's tackle about the topic, can I bring my family to Malta? So I've been saying this for a long time ago, um, I've been saying this many many times that yes, you can bring your family in Malta if you are living in Malta. So for example, I am working in Malta, can I bring my family or my friends or my relatives in Malta and later on they can work in Malta? So the answer is absolutely yes, of course you can bring your family in two ways so first guys is the normal family invite that is family and friends invite so it's two the family and your friends so what are the category of the family here the bracket of family under family and friends visa so it is your parents your father sister brother mother uncle cousin like that, as long as it is immediate relative, is okay to invite. Now, what if you're inviting your cousin like it's your third or second degree or fourth degree cousin? It's also fine as long as you provide the proof of your family ties. For example, root of your family. Um, example, your family name is Santos. Then it's your third cousin. Now, your third cousin will be not Santos anymore. So, you need your proof of um, relative. You, the proof of um, family. So, that is your birth certificate. So, it should be apostilled, guys. In any country, apostile is accepted if you're going to apply a visa in Malta. So, for example, I invite your cousin. I invite you, your sister. I will gonna invite my father. You need a proof of family ties. So, birth certificate or any proof that you are relatives. Now, can I invite also my friend? Of course, you can also invite your friend, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your close friend, your best friend. Those are the scope or the category of friendships. Either relationship boyfriend girlfriend like i said best friend close friend immediate friend so you can invite them now how to prove that you are friends so yes guys you need a screenshot or proof of conversation video call audio call text messages or anything conversation 
you need this plus also you need your um, proof of photos images videos together or yeah you need to submit a lot of photos not only one not only two not only three all their photos are also strong proof not like only the new and latest photo no if you have a previous photos it's fine it's it would be better now guys that is the first um category of inviting your family and your friends now how about the other way of invitation so the other way is the um, family reunification so what is this family reunification guys family reunification are inviting your spouse and your son your siblings your daughter that is the only category for family reunification now how to do this so this one has a strict salary requirement of 1750 euro per month plus you need to have your own apartment not like you're sharing an apartment or sharing a room so it should be you own your apartment or for example you have a partner in malta and you want to get your a child like family reunification as long as the house is in your name or your spouse will gonna be the sponsor of family reunification proof that you are married or you have a um, proof of relationship either registered partnership something like that as long as he is or she is your legal spouse then he or she can sponsor your child way back in your country under family reunification same also with your spouse so the spouse should be legal you should you should um married for example living in another country let's say for example i am here and my spouse is in the philippines and i want to apply for um family reunification it's fine as long as he is your legal husband wife or partner so family reunification is a bit um, stricter because it has a really tight and a strict salary requirement it should be 1750 and the house also it should be approved by an architect or engineer because they will going to check all the house layout plans and if it is suitable for living as a family and then you're going to submit it to identity malta for assessment and once it's approved you will get your um, visa now what are the difference of this so the normal family and friends invite visa you will get a three months visa valid for 90 days of course in this category d and if your family friends or relatives are already in malta and they want to find a job later on let's say for example they found a job or they want uh, to work in malta they can also apply for a work permit as long as the category D visa or the family and friends invite visa is not yet expired. As long as it's still valid, they can apply for a work permit when they found a job. So Identity Malta will have to look out what is your entry visa in Malta. So when you apply for your work permit, they will be needing your visa. So they will going to check it which category and if it is valid. So yes family and friends visa is accepted for application of work permit now the family reunification guys is the difference is when your siblings or spouse arrive to malta and they hold a family reunification they will also receive a residence permit that is valid for five years or equivalent to your residence permit usually when your residence permit the same as the expiration of the residence permit of your um, spouse or your children being invited or normally identity malta will issue them a fixed five years residence permit because this is the validity of a residence permit under family reunification and also that also for um, spouse for eu nationals or for another spouses they also get a valid of five years id card for eu nationals i think if i'm not mistaken they will get a 10 years validity of the id card so for example the uk nationals they get um 10 years also the other 
um, EU nationals, they get 10 years. But for non-EU nationals having a family reunification, they will get 5 years validity of their residence permit. So that's the difference. In family and friends invite visa, when your relatives and friends or daughters or sisters being invited arrive in Malta, they will not automatically get a residence permit. They need to apply for a job in order to get a residence permit for long stay. So, in family and friends reunification, uh, family and friends invite visa, they cannot stay longer in Malta when the visa is expired. So they only need to stay in Malta according to the validity of your visa. For family reunification, they will get a 90 days validity of visa category D. And when they arrive in Malta, they need to pick up their residence permit in Identity Malta. So this is the advantage of family um, reunification that they have a sure ID card or sure residence permit when they arrive in Malta. Compared to other one that is on, it's only for tourists, of course, visiting, but it's under category D which allows them to work later on. So yes, guys, that's the question. And... That's my answer to your question, if can I get or bring my family if I'm already working in Malta? Yes, of course you can, 100% you can. So yes guys, I have a video about family invite. So these are my video about my family invite before. Please um, visit and watch the vlog because I already explained there everything. Okay guys. Now, how long can I bring my family in Malta after I work in Malta? So, for example, how long before I can bring my family after I work in Malta? So, yes, guys, the minimum is you have to live in Malta. You have to work and live legally in Malta for a minimum of one year before you'll be able to invite your family and friends or relatives under family and friends invite visa or under family reunification visa now how much the salary requirement the salary requirement for family and friends visa is at least 1200 euro and for family reunification is 1750 euro with um, separate and owned apartment for family and friends visa, it's okay that if you are sharing apartment as long as the contract or the let agreement and the declaration of proof will be in your name. So as long as the house contract, it is written there, your name, it's fine. You can always use that. But for reunification visa, it's stricter that you have your own apartment without sharing to other people. So yes, guys, that is the invitation of family in malta so if you are working in malta okay guys so that's how you can invite your family and friends in malta so yes the, the answer is yes you can bring your family in malta after a year staying and working in malta you can bring your family they can also allow to work in malta if you are watching this vlog and you're not yet subscribed on my channel please subscribe like and share and also leave your comment guys and i will gonna read it one by one so yes that's all for today's vlog and i hope to see you again on my next vlogs guys thank you thank you very much for always watching my vlogs please don't forget to share my vlogs to all your friends like and share so yes guys until next time and thank you so much again for watching so see you again next time bye